Hey guys, JKG here back with a One Punch Man video and today is the skills and translations video for SSR plus Garo. So yeah, before I begin, I want to apologize again for the delay because 1st February uh, happened to be Chinese New Year. So we had a lot of Chinese New Year things to do like visiting relatives and whatever. And yeah, that whole past week was really busy until the weekends. Even yesterday I was doing some visiting until today, 6th of February, I'm recording. And yeah, finally I have some time to do my videos. So yeah, sorry for the delay. But yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. So this is the normal attack. Um, same as the Atomic Samurai last uh, month, I think. It was a single target, 4 hits, 120% attack as damage, so nothing much. And yeah, oh, I forgot to mention the stats. So just in case you guys didn't know, all SSR Plus stats, the attack, defense and HP are all the same, as you can see here. Only the speed is different. So Garo's speed is 103, so I think it's pretty okay. Uh, SSR plus speed is usually at about uh, 104, 103 and stuff like that. Only King is the exception with 120. And yeah, so that is the single uh, target attack, the normal attack. Let's get on with the ultimate. So the ultimate is also a single target attack. It hits 5 times. And it does 950% attack as damage. So, uh, single target burst. Activates Breakthrough, so a new buff. If you crit, so what this buff does is if the target has Unyielding or Enhanced Unyielding. So, Enhanced Unyielding is actually from the SSR Plus Geryu Gunship's core skill. So, I'll link it up here if you guys doesn't know what it does but basically it's a better form of unyielding so if the target has this buff he will actually remove the ignore incoming damage buff from the enemy from that target and it triggers up to one time per attack so this is basically a counter to the Gary Gunship again uh, past few releases have all been counters for Gary Gunship because that core skill is so strong so yeah, let's move on to the passive. Passive is actually a cleanse for himself, for Garo. So after any unit takes action, cleanser self stun debuff. So this is... It doesn't say there's any limit to um, per round. Which means that he basically has a little bit of spell uh, stun immunity. Pretty crazy. After any teammate takes action, this is the second part of the passive. After any teammate or any ally takes action, targets one enemy unit randomly. I forgot to insert, but yeah, it's random. Who has the ignore incoming damage debuff? Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be buff. So who has the in ignore incoming damage buff, which means like the enhanced unyielding, and then perform ultimate follow up. That is 50% of the original damage, which means it will be like 475. Is that right? 475 percent damage, I think. So this ultimate follow-up will do 475% attack to the random enemy target, and it activates up to two times per round. So basically, whoever has the ignore incoming damage buff. Garo will target that enemy. He will do the ultimate, which has this effect. So it removes the in ignore incoming damage buff, which means not sure how it works. But does it just remove or does it do the damage after removing, which means it kills the enemy, or it just removes the buff? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to see it in action. Yeah, but. This is 2 times per round, another counter to the Geryu core skill. Okay, let's move on to the Awakened Passive. So Awakened Passive is 
at the start of battle, he gains. Uh, basically, he will have two times of unyielding throughout the battle, which is fifty percent of your max HP. Yeah, can be used up to two times per battle, and when unyielding count reduces, I believe this means that if the unyielding is activated in a uh, Bygaro, the count will reduce to one instead of two. He will gain an enhanced barrier buff, so this is another new buff for Garo. So this enhanced barrier only applies to himself. It will be 120% of the original max HP. So original I think it means like it doesn't count any max HP increasing skills like Gyoro or so the original max HP, meaning uh, Garo's own max HP with just the gears and things, uh, not affected by any skills that increases max HP. So equal to 120% original max HP. So this barrier actually negates damage, so he kind of absorbs damage and it overrides any HP type buffs. So yeah, this one again, if he has any max HP increasing buffs like for good from Gyoro, then this barrier actually takes over that buff and then it cannot negate more than 5 times the original HP. Pretty strong awakened passive. Still not exactly sure how it works yet but it sounds like it can absorb a lot of damage and make him pretty much unkillable for a while after activating the unyielding. So yeah, I think that is all for the video today. Yeah, so happy Chinese New Year to everyone here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.